Texans aren't used to this kind of weather. Not ideal. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is week two in our Friday behind the scenes update with Smetting Performance. It is currently about 30 degrees outside, sleeting and getting icy, but we're we're chugging along. We've all got our winter layers on and yeah, it's not too bad in the shop. But today we are dynoing a 427 cubic inch 560 horse Cobra Ford. So Mike's just now getting the motor finished up, ready for the dyno, getting the valve covers on and all of our dyno parts. So I'm gonna set you guys up on a time lapse and you can watch how we put the motors on the dyno real quick. Okay, while Michael's getting that Ford ready to dyno, I'm going to catch you guys up on what else is going on in the shop. We've got three engines all leaving today. One of them, the first one, is our 383 long block. However, this customer did option for us to go ahead and install an intake manifold for him. Next two are going to be a couple short blocks. These are both fully optioned with camshaft kits. This one's got a nice Chevy orange paint job and our sealed up kit. So timing cover, oil pan are installed, balancers ready to go. And this black one is just the same. Camshaft kit, everything done. These short blocks and all the engines we do are 100% brand new. And so these are getting a fresh bill of health and should work really well for our customers. While that's going on, Shay also has another 427 Ford finished up and we're just waiting on the intake manifold to come back from the powder coating shop. We offer different levels of customization and one of them, for example, is we can get the intake manifold powder coated any color you would like. This engine got a rear sump oil pan and is also getting the Super Trick Vintage Air front runner system. And again, all of that's going to be installed on the front of the engine after we dyno it so that when the customer gets it, it goes straight into the vehicle. This motor is a little sneak peek. We have a build series on it that's starting in a few weeks, but it's about a 1500 horsepower RHS motor. Real nice. Really cool build. The 441 that you guys saw last Friday is now assembled. Same thing, powder coated timing cover. Pretty trick. Got another 383 short block, just waiting on a Moroso oil pan to come in. That should hopefully be here any day now. And Michael, after he finishes putting the Ford on the dyno, is gonna build this nice 383 Extreme that's also getting a full serpentine kit as well. 
So, Michael should be done on the dyno any minute now, and we can run this motor. Motor's all done, ready to dyno. Here it is, everything hooked up. We'll do a quick overview. This is our 427 Cobra 560 horsepower package. So it has a brand new Dart SHP aftermarket engine block, 4.125 bore with a four inch stroke. It's fully forged, fully internally balanced, hydraulic roller cam kit with our Smetting 205 CNC ported cylinder heads. This customer option for an MSD Pro Billet distributor. So we have the correct steel gear on here to match our camshaft. And he is going, we're gonna dyno it with a carburetor, but he already has his own carburetor that he's gonna tune and adjust to run on the engine. So now that everything's there, I'm gonna go ahead and set my initial timing on this and we'll get it fired up. All right, we've got our Ford running and starting to warm up. Got a little bit of a fast idle in it. Oil temps looking nice and strong. Coolant temps, a little cold, but we'll let it warm up nice and smooth. And we'll come back in just a minute. Right now, it is 48 degrees in the shop. So we are all <laughs> We're Texans. trying to stay warm around the hot engine. But this motor just finished running, made 566 horse, 567 torque. Let me show you all the curve and kind of why we call this the ultimate street Ford. So what we focus on is usable torque and horsepower. It's easy to make big horsepower, but to have a torque curve that extends super far down low like this, that's where we focus our time and attention to. So this engine's now finished. We're gonna warm up and take a quick break in the shop, and then we'll get back to work and get it shipped out of here in just a minute. Bunch of babies. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> It's so cold in here, we went ahead and fired up the old patio propane heater to give us a little warm spot. But the Ford is now off the dyno, in the crate, all polished, all detailed. 
looking super clean and simple. Again, this customer is going to run his own carburetor, his own fuel system, so we're shipping it without. But the distributor is already adjusted. The timing curve is set to match our engine, and it is already timed. So when they get it, all they have to do is plug in the pro billet to the ignition box, and it's ready to party. So while that's going on, we also do have quite a few engines leaving this month. Have a nice little closeout to January. Yep, we got five of them ready to go in our crates now. So those should get picked up hopefully today or tomorrow and be headed out of here. These videos upload on Friday, but we actually kind of film them throughout the week. Specifically today, it's a Tuesday. But uh, yeah. Anyways, I think that wraps up today's weekly update and behind the scenes at Semantic Performance. Nothing really new on the machining side. We're just keeping our heads down, staying busy, and trying to get you guys motors as quickly as possible. Thank you all, and I'll see you all next time.